Code duplication is always bad. Let me explain. Presented with a case of code duplication where we have two separate arrays of size 4 and for each array we'll initialize a sum variable to 0, then iterate 4 times each time adding the value at the ith index of each array to each sum, and then calculating the average for both array A and array B's values by multiplying both sums by 4. Duplication like this might not really be a big deal, right? Because even if there's some error in the duplicate code, things are relatively small and close together. So it's not too difficult in terms of maintenance to just fix the error for both of these in this case. But let's be real here. Things are never this simple. How about when the duplication is spread throughout the entire application, and therefore the bug is also spread throughout the entire application? Now, the risk of missing something when we go to fix the issues at multiple locations increases. Furthermore, if we want to change the behavior of the duplicate code, such as making the array dynamic, we'd need to go and make that change in multiple different files as well, and hope that we don't miss something. And if we do miss something, we can introduce some pretty hard to spot bugs. So I think we'll all agree that in this extreme case, for better maintainability at the very least, extracting this duplicate code to its own function makes sense. Now, I know what you're thinking. Those two cases were extreme examples, but the kind of problems that we'll likely encounter in the real world won't be so cut and dry. Okay, so let's take another example into consideration. We have two classes, one that represents PDF documents and one that represents Word documents. These classes have identical fields which result in identical constructors, as well as identical getter methods, and also identical setter methods. But what's unique to each individual document type's class is their print methods. These print methods are specific to the document type. Now the rule of three would say that we can just leave this duplication until a third document emerges. And the argument is that we'd have a better idea of what the optimal design choice is with more examples. Therefore, we'd be able to reduce the risk of introducing a wrong abstraction to solve the duplication. But in my experience, two occurrences of duplication versus three occurrences in most cases doesn't offer much more clarity, if any for that matter. But in terms of maintenance, having two occurrences of duplication has pretty much the same impact of having three occurrences of duplication. You see where I'm going here, right? The rule of three is just some arbitrary number, so why not make it two? But don't worry, I'll go down the rabbit hole. Let's imagine we do decide to extract this duplicate code quote unquote early. So instead of having the individual classes for each document type with pretty much identical code aside from the print method, we'll just use a generic document class. Then we'll take the file type as a field and the print logic is executed depending on the file type. Now, this is very clearly a wrong abstraction. The worst case scenario, right? And it's wrong because, of course, if more file types emerge, we'll need to continue to extend the print method and add additional conditions for the new file type, which, as you can imagine, can get pretty wild pretty quickly and pretty much defeats the purpose of the abstraction in the first place. But the thing is, this doesn't prove that some duplication is okay. This just proves that the wrong abstraction is well wrong. But you know what? Let's take this a bit further. Contrary to popular belief, in most cases, going back on a wrong abstraction and redoing it isn't actually that difficult, especially if you have good test coverage. And I find that the best way to remove a bad abstraction is by following Sandy Metz's the fastest way forward is back approach. So we'll reintroduce the duplication by using the parameter that determines the different behavior to determine how things should be split.
And from there, we have pretty much a clean slate to come up with the right abstraction, which of course can also later down the line end up being wrong. But nonetheless, we'll use composition here and extract the duplicate code to a class for shared document properties. And each individual document will have a property field of type document properties. So going back on a bad abstraction in most cases isn't super difficult, but maintaining duplicate code, even if it is only a couple of occurrences, is in my opinion more costly. Therefore, I'd say that code duplication is pretty much always bad. But the thing is, I make these videos not to force my opinion down your throats, but to encourage discussion that both I and others can learn from. So please, let the games begin in the comment section, and don't forget to like or dislike this video to oblivion. I'll see you in the next one.